Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to create social steam panels like these in Inkscape. So let's get started. I'm going to teach you just as an example of YouTube. You can just make it for Instagram or Facebook or Twitter as per your wish. So first go to File and just go to Document Properties, and you can just deselect this show page border. Okay, so you have more space to work. Now uh, what I'm gonna do is just create a rectangle pick up your rectangle tool and create a rectangle I will change my measurements to pixel after changing my measurements to pixel I will remove this, this stroke by just right clicking this and unset stroke okay so after setting it to pixel and selecting it what I'm gonna do is change my height to 150 pixel okay oh, it's mm. I change it to pixel and height to 150 pixel weight to 600 pixel okay this is what i'm going to go with now i will select my gradient tool on it and just select a gradient the colors i'm going to go with just like this the color i'm going to go with here is this and on this part i will go with a darker color okay so what i'm going to do is just make it here and just now move it diagonally and just expand it a lot you can move it diagonally to create a gradient here okay i might try to go lower with it you can try and experiment with it i'm going to just go with this okay now just I'm going to do just import a YouTube logo. You can just search it on Google and get it. Okay. Just like this. We'll take it to the top by clicking this icon. And the text I'm going to go with will be subscribe to me okay subscribe to me and I will lower it a bit okay and the font I will go with will be just open your text and font menu okay I will just go with Babus new okay click and click on apply selecting this I'm going to do is good pick up my text tool and just select just select this to me and I will make it white and through the subscribe color I will make it red okay this works for me similarly what will I do just duplicate it by control and D pressing now I will just make it bigger make it more bigger and just pick up my text tool and I will make it to make it tube okay and I will select this U and make it red again I will make it a little bit more bigger okay I'm making it a little more bigger just what I'm gonna do is just open your text and align, oh, align menu and align and distribute menu and what I'm going to do is make this relative to last selected okay first you select this and then select this okay and then just center it I guess this works now what I'm gonna do is just pick up your bezier tool and you will just select this snap to other points and make this I'll just select this snap to cusp nodes just select this rectangle that was behind I will go to path, or path and object to path and I will select this also snap to paths now what I'm gonna do is select my basic curve and select this here 
just drag it diagonally okay and select it here and then just complete your triangle the color I'm going to go with will be white here just remove your stroke and I will lower it one bit okay so I get guess we are done with the first design okay we are done with the first design what I'm going to do is just group it by control and G I will try to provide a stroke around it by pressing shift okay just to make a difference I will I will have to control Z because it's making a just provide this element with stroke normal stroke I guess this works for the moment stock on it a bit okay we can do similar things and create similar objects here okay Shift it again. Don't know why. the stroke for it okay I guess this works now we can do the similar thing again and again just duplicate it now I will just not use this square or this triangle okay I will create a rectangle like this just create a rectangle like this. We we'll lower it one step, okay? Yes, this one. Now I will create a duplicate again by Control D. Just lower it a bit again. Now what I'm gonna do is just create get a rectangle tool and create a rectangle here. And this like this options. Just create a rectangle here. Select this rectangle and the width I'm going to go with just like make it pixel. Like this again, and the width I'm going to go with will be 10 pixel and just blank it here. Okay, so you can again activate these two. And it will just blank it to the corner. You can again duplicate this, take it back. Oh, I will change its color to red. Now I will again change this one's color to red. And just duplicate it and rotate it. Get then just increase its size. Okay. I guess this one similarly we can do the same thing we can duplicate it again slide it and I do we just ungroup it control shift G to ungroup it select this icon and just duplicate it and just rotate it vertically okay so rotating it vertically select this and select this Looks like this triangle okay just have it back step step one step more okay, ice 
too much select this uh, select this icon select this icon also and we can just make it lower like this this also it lower the wallet here and just then we can reunion then go to part and go to union okay and we can just drag it to the right again and just duplicate this again we are going to create an editor angle just go to bezier tool and select this and select this cancel just snap it again to snap it to the corners of the path again i will change it to white color similar process just duplicate it just sit down now select this part just rotate it vertically and just snap it to the top this time now i will duplicate this one again for duplicating this what i'm going to do is just select this element and delete this okay and i'm going to just slide it here and then just select my bezier tool and create a line from here press and hold control to create a straight line and select it here and click enter now what i'm going to do is just select this line and go to a uh, stroke style and i will just make it 5 pixel 10 pixel works and change its color by holding shift press this white color okay it will change its color now i will duplicate it again and just this like this and press to snap now okay and just slide it to the right and i guess we are done similarly you can create it for twitter or instagram or any social site you want thanks for watching if you have any questions you can comment into the comment box like subscribe guys see you again